स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स टारगेट फोर्टी सिक्स क्वेश्चन इन क्वेश्चन पेपर फोर्टी सिक्स क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन थर्ड चैप्टर प्रॉब्लम ऑन थर्ड चैप्टर करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो बी प्रिपेयर विथ नोटबुक स्केल पेंसिल इरेजर एंड देन कैलकुलेटर कॉपी दी प्रॉब्लम एंड देन गो थ्रू दी सोल्यूशन ओके शेल वी स्टार्ट फोर रेजिस्टर्स रेस्पेक्टिवली are connected in cyclic order to a resistance network is the network balanced if not calculate the resistance to be connected in parallel with the resistance of 10 ohm to balance the network it's mentioned is the network balanced so we have to answer this first okay circuit so it's a resistance network four resistors these are the four resistors 12 15 10 4 see it's mentioned cyclic order cyclic order means like this next let us label it p q R S yes. P Q R S P by Q equal to R by S. First, we have to prove P by Q equal to R by S. If we can't, means the bridge is not balanced. Check twelve by fifteen, four by five, four by ten. Four by ten is two by five. Four by five, two by five. Bridge is not balanced. That we have to mention. Okay, in scheme of aleation, they may allot one mark or two mark for this. So we have to prove this. After that, we have to find. Even if you neglect this and directly go here, you may lose one or two mark, and that's according to scheme of aleation. Okay. Now, let us find P by Q. P by Q equal to twelve, fifteen, four by five. Just a ratio, no unit. Now, R by S. This by this, this by this, this by this, this by this. R by S equal to four by ten. Four by ten is two by five. See, these two are not equal. Let's mention that since P by Q is not equal to R by S, the bridge is not balanced. The bridge is not balanced. Done. Now, second half. If not, calculate the resistance to be parallel with the resistance ten ohm. Now we have to connect a resistor in parallel to this. We have to find this unknown. Let this unknown be A. Okay. Now, let this together be yes. Let this together be yes. By inserting this, if the bridge is balanced, means P by Q should be equal to R by yes. Okay. Now, P by Q equal to R by S. R by S. P twelve, Q fifteen, R four, S unknown. S implies S equal to <coughs> four one four three three one. Three five, so S should be equal to five ohm. But S is, but S is parallel of A and ten, parallel of A and ten. But S is parallel of five ohm, 
and sorry 10 ohm and a so this unknown is a parallel of 10 and a means s equal to 10 into a by 10 plus a recall r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 you can mention that formula here r p equal to parallel equal to r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 now s is 5 5 this is 10 this is a 10 plus a simplify and get the value of a 5 1 5 2 2 a 10 plus a equal to 2 a a equal to take a to this side 10 ohm after finding don't forget si unit don't forget si unit so diagram we have proved that it is not balanced after that students copy the problem understand and then solve since it is a board exam three hours is really sufficient to answer all the questions so you will have sufficient time spend one or two minutes to understand the problem okay so without understanding don't try to solve the problem in life also without understanding the problem don't try to solve two identical cells either in series or in parallel combination gives the same current of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 ampere through resistance 5 ohm find the emf and internal resistance two cells they are either in series or parallel but here let us draw two diagrams with respect to series and parallel and then equations now expression for current is emf by r plus r emf by r plus r internal external external is this r okay now this is the formula of course there are few more to use in this problem if cells are in series this is first cell second cell this these two cells are connected in series emf of identical it's mentioned identical emf of first e internal resistance r emf of second e internal resistance r and this is external r equal to 4 ohm hope you understood the problem or this diagram with respect to problem this is the diagram now these two cells are in series these two cells are in series means we have to find e equivalent e equivalent e equivalent equal to e1 plus e2 e1 plus e2 this is e plus e equal to 2e equal to 2e so we found out equivalent and then r equivalent r equivalent equal to r1 plus r2 two cells it is r plus r which is equal to 2r Now, when two cells are in series, these two are the EMF and internal resistance and according to this expression for current is current equal to 0.5 ampere, 0.5 ampere equal to E equivalent is 2E. This 2E is 2E equivalent and then 2R plus external is this external is 4 plus 4 so substitute carefully 4 into 0.5 is 2 2 r into 2 into 0.5 is 1 so plus r equal to 2e so we have this equation okay equation 1 now when 
cells are in parallel cells are in parallel this is first cell this is second cell they are in parallel connected across the same resistor e comma r e comma r and this is r equal to 4 ohm when we draw diagrams neatly we will get clarity in solving the problem okay so that is the advantage of writing the diagram you may ask but you should not ask you may ask so do we get one mark here or one mark here or does this carry one mark don't answer don't ask any question because if diagrams are there then you will get equations so it's an added advantage in the scheme of valuation if they allot marks then you will get marks for these diagrams don't worry about that now when these two are in parallel cells are in parallel first find out r equivalent r equivalent equal to these two resistors are in parallel where is that these two are in parallel r1 r2 by r1 plus r2 which is equal to 2r r into r by 2r r r get cancels it is r by 2 internal is r by 2 now e equivalent by r equivalent equal to e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 e1 is e so e by r plus e by r which is equal to e equivalent wanted e equivalent is wanted by r equivalent is r by 2 this is r by 2 this right hand side gives 2 e by r and this is e equivalent r by 2 r r get cancels this goes to numerator half into 2 is 1 implies e equivalent equal to e r equivalent is r by 2 so corresponding to these two we have to write equation for current therefore current i equal to current is given 0.5 equal to emf equivalent emf is e e by external is this external is r 4 plus internal is r by 2 this internal is r by 2 r by 2 r by 2 r where is r r we want r by 2 fine now 0.5 into 4 2 2 plus r 0.5 into 1 by 2 is 0.25 into r equal to e here we have equation 1 this is equation 2 equation 1 now observe there is 2e here so multiply this by 2 or 4 plus 0.5 r equal to 2e let this be equation 2 okay done equation 1 is equation 1 is bring that here 2 plus r equal to 2e this minus this or this minus this 0 this minus this minus this 0 this minus this minus 0.5 or this minus this 2 now i need some space please copy all this using this 
point five r equal to two or r equal to point five four r equal to four ohm. Now substitute r. In equation one or equation two, and find out e. This was equation one, or this is equation one, isn't it? Now equation one becomes equation one two plus r is four equal to two into e. This is six by two three. So this is three four. High school mathematics with circuits. A battery of EMF E and internal resistance R gives a current 0.5 ampere with an external resistance 12 ohm, 0.5 ampere, and current of 0.25 with 25 ohm. Calculate internal resistance and EMF. Internal EMF current. Write the equation first. Current I equal to EMF by R plus R. R plus R. Point five ampere with twelve ohm. Okay. Point five with twelve ohm. Therefore, using these two, using these two. Point five ampere with twelve ohm. With twelve ohm, EMF is E. Sorry, EMF is E. Twelve plus R. This is first equation. Let us simplify this, or let us keep it like this. Now second is twenty five. Current is point two five. Point two five with twenty five EMF by twenty five plus R. We have two equations. Divide one by the other. Now, point five by point two five equal to this is EMF by R plus R twelve plus R. This is EMF by twenty five plus R. One time, two time. E get cancels with E. Take this to numerator. So this is twenty five plus R by twelve plus R equal to two. Two twenty four plus two R equal to twenty five plus R. So these two gives R. These two gives R equal to. Twenty five minus twenty four is one oh. Substitute this in equation one or equation two. So equation one becomes point five equal to EMF by R. R is twelve. Twelve plus internal is one. Fine. Thirteen, so EMF equal to thirteen. Half of thirteen is six point five volt. Sixteen 